reason and a reason for everything. Steve Boz, the number one question on everyone's mind. Why did you do what you did? Why did you attack Steve Boz? Why did you turn your back on your best friend of 10 years? <laughs> That's funny, Boz. I was asking the same thing myself six months ago when you turned your back on me. Steve Boz, you've gotten out of control. And there's only one person that's going to stop you, Steve Boz, and that's me. You know what? The last two years, Steve Boz, when I won the Dreamwave title, I seen the jealousy in your eyes. And ever since then, you couldn't stop it. You couldn't be happy for me for one minute. So when I lost the title last year at anniversary, and I needed you the most, Steve Boz, that's what you told me. I was there for you, Austin. Why? When I lost that title, Steve Boz, I came to you. You know what you told me? Brother, hey, baby, let's go to the bar and get a drink. All you wanted to do was party, Steve Boz. You won that night. Remember? You turned your back at me when I needed you the most, Steve Boz. And that's exactly, exactly why on April 9th, anniversary two, Steve Boz, not only am I going to pin your shoulders to the mat, I'm going to take everything you have, Steve Boz. I'm going to steal it for myself. No more Steve Boz after April 9th. You might still be there, but you're definitely going to be a different person, Steve Boz. You ain't going to be the same man. Because when you look at me in the eyes, Steve Boz, and you see what's across the ring from you, you're never going to be the same, Steve Boz. Never. And that brings me to you, Dreamwave President, Dreamwave CEO, Jay Repsol, Mr. Liar, Mr. I never tell the truth, Mr. I never follow through with my promises, the best of Austin Roberts, the PWI 500. Huh? Where is it? You never brought in a star for Austin Roberts to wrestle. You never did anything, J. Rep. I built your company. I put your company on my shoulders. I built your company into the biggest damn promotion in the Midwest. By myself. With no help from you, CEO. No help from management. I did that. So, Mr. J. Rep. On April 9th, when I tear Steve Boz down and bury him in the ground, you're next. And last, last but certainly, certainly not least, is all you fans, all you LaSalle unfaithful, because you turned your back on me a long time ago. You turned your back on me last year too, just like Steve Boz. Anniversary one, Nick Brubaker splits open my head with the good as gold briefcase, pins me, one, two, three, takes my title. I heard the little cheers in the crowd here and there, dream wave. LaSalle, unfaithful. And ever since then, it was never the same between me and you, you see, because I built that company. I rose to the top, and as soon as we were there, each and every one of you tried to tear me down. So LaSalle Unfaithful, you're going to view what you did. What I did to Steve Boz, all the blood that's going to be on my hands from Steve Boz, is also going to be on your hands. So April 9th, Steve Boz, Jay Repsol, LaSalle Unfaithful, I'm going to bury each and every one of you.